So hearing protection, it's one of the most underrated things I think as a hunter. For many years, I never used hearing protection. You know, as I've been shooting most of my life and as a former police officer, did a lot of shooting, I've definitely damaged my ears. You know, my father, growing up with him, you know, you start shooting a pellet gun or a BB gun, you know, you don't use protection and then that just kind of becomes their norm. And I did a lot of years hunting without it and now I'm paying the price and my father certainly is paying the price and, you know, he can't hear me when I'm in the field with him. Dad. Dad. There's a bull and a cow right out off the point. So that's just two generations of hearing loss and damage and I gotta make sure that that doesn't happen to my son. So my theory is one shot without hearing protection is one shot too many. You know, if I could give one piece of advice to anybody that's a shooter and that or is looking at getting into shooting, whether it's hunting or just shooting for sport, it's hearing protection. Even driving a snow machine or machinery without hearing protection just doesn't make any sense. These ones here that I use are Axle and I've really found them great. And in fact, these ones actually provide hearing enhancement and it really comes in handy, say, when I'm moose hunting and I can hear a moose grunting off in the, you know, in the bush. And then as soon as you need them for that shot, they switch over and they protect your ears. So it's really important, I think, to hammer home that hearing protection is a must, especially if uh, you're teaching young kids or you're teaching someone, start from the beginning, make sure that they're wearing hearing protection and then it becomes a lifelong tool that they never forget.